Hey guys, uh, Washington here, and today I'll be talking to you about the Shama's documentary on Van Gogh. So, what Shama ended up uh, doing, he uh, described to us in this uh, reenactment of Van Gogh, and he does a great job always. What he ended up uh, doing, he ended up telling us about how Van Gogh was the son of a preacher who had at first he had no intentions of actually even doing painting it wasn't until his 30th uh, birthday around there where he actually grabbed a paintbrush and started painting but his paintings actually didn't go the way he wanted them to be and like because he constantly would give them to his younger brother to sell his younger brother was uh, Theo he worked in Paris and he was an art dealer like but they constantly told Van Gogh that his paintings were too dark and too gloomy to actually be sold. So no one wanted to actually buy them. So Van Gogh more or less uh, moves out of his house and what he wants to do is save people. He ended up uh, hooking up with this prostitute in which she had a kid, um, she was pregnant, so he kind of brings her along to try and find salvation for her. So what ended up happening is like, in the, in the end, she ended up just leaving him because uh, she couldn't put up with uh, the way Van Gogh was. But uh, what Van Gogh wanted was actually uh, to continue painting and his first successful paint was actually the the potato eaters. So once he got uh, the potato eaters going, he ends up more or less later on down the road hooking up with Paul Gogan. Paul Gogan was another painter of the time which Van Gogh kind of admired and Paul Gogan seemed to kind of at one point uh, think of Van Gogh as competition. What ended up happening is like uh, once Gauguin moved in with Van Gogh, Van Gogh through, uh, through his ordeals, he ended up uh, one night going out, coming back, uh, chopping off part of his ear. Uh, and so at that point, Gauguin leaves the, the establishment. He goes away. We don't hear about him anymore. And... Uh, Van Gogh is sent to the hospital. Well, when Van Gogh is sent to the hospital, he's released shortly after that, but then he recommits himself. And through this, this whole ordeal, he actually finds some um, sense of relief with his paintings through his craziness. And like in these moments of craziness, every time he paints, he kind of subsides with his craziness. But what, what had happened with the Van Gogh he was the tortured artist that ended up shooting himself in the abdomen, which his brother Theo finds him at one point. So he stays with uh, Van Gogh for a while, but Van Gogh succumbs to the injuries and uh, with a high temperature and uh, the infection of the shot, he ends up dying. He ends up dying in 1890 which in 1891 his brother Theo dies as well like so what ended up happening was a uh, on one of his uh, quotes Van Gogh states how managing not to have children uh, his paintings were uh, his progeny so I think Shama did a very good job in describing how Van Gogh was with all his reenactment and actions and I would definitely say that uh, that's a watch uh, documentary so go ahead and watch it.